since 2002. We have created excellence together. Welcome to Ring of Honor Wrestling. Honor is real. <laughs> Exactly what's on the line in this one. And Jimmy Jacobs, a zombie princess. Look at that smile on that kisser. Very arena, Kevin Steen. I threw him eight feet from the guardrail to the apron. I thought he wouldn't walk again. He damn near beat me for the belt. Tonight, his one and only opportunity at Davy Richards. And still wearing. Those shorts and that T-shirt. He's got wrestling gear, right? Yeah, he sure does. But he wants to say F you to Jim Cornette. Right. That's what he's doing. He makes a choice to wrestle in shorts and a T-shirt as a defiant F you towards Jim Cornette. But here comes Davey Richards, who cut. The quote is saying he thinks Steen is a joke. He's been insulting. Back at Steen, he's told Steen exactly what he thinks of him. So many possible ramifications in this one. Like we said before, Jim Cornette, not here. Kyle O'Reilly, not here. Steve Carino, is he here? How will he affect this, if he uh, is? I don't know, but right now, let's go to our ring announcer, Bobby Cruz, for the introductions. Holy podcast! is your Border Wars main event. It is scheduled for one fall in a 60 minute time limit. And it is for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Introducing first to my right, the challenger. He is accompanied by Jimmy Jacobs. Wrestling out of Maryville, Quebec, Canada. Weighing 264 pounds, he is wrestling worst nightmare, Kevin Steen. He's a pony. Come on, Wrestling out of Othello, Washington. Weighing 208 pounds, he is the Ring of Honor World Champion, American Wolf, TV Richard. A chorus of boos echoing down from this Standing room only, be beyond capacity crowd here at the Ted Reeve Arena. I think now we can just enjoy some of this ambiance. 
and let you into the ring as Richards faces Steen. Barricade. Steen immediately went for the package pile driver. Smart, if nothing else, it gives you a, a psychological advantage to know that like you're gonna go for any chance you get. I mean, how long has it been now where he hasn't been able to go for it? Well, again, that move had been banned here in Ring of Honor in the aftermath of what happened in Final Battle back in December, where the body count was enormous. Steve Perino. Take a look there, sorry to cut you off, Kevin. Jimmy Jacobs, feet away from the action. Do you see him getting involved here or not? I don't know. We saw him get involved recently. Oh! oh like a gunshot. My God, with surgical precision, Kevin Steen drills Davey Richards with a DDT coming in. And how many times have we seen that today with the veterans, the guys who've been around a long time? They feel themselves in danger. They roll to the outside right away. Get out of danger, harm way. So Steve, any thoughts about the opening moments of this matchup so far? No, Steve shakes his head. Not a word. Well. Back first to the barricade goes Richards, and Steve, we, we really respect you, absolutely. If, if you want to sit here with us, that's fine. Stay as long as you like. And if you wish to share any thoughts, that's fine as well. But we're getting a bird's eye view now of what Kevin Steve. Watch out, guys, are right behind us. So we have now Kevin Steen continuing to press the advantage. Outside the ring has been his domain over the last few moments. While there now is another table at ringside, our timekeeper might want to think about cutting a trail. My goodness. And that was right in front of Todd Sinclair, chastising him. But That's the, the other question I wanted to ask you. How much leeway does Sinclair give them in this? You have to understand, you know, this is a world title match. So much on stake here, you know, and uh, sometimes you, you, you have to stretch the rules sometimes. You understand? I do. These guys again, oh. though. I, you know, and again, I think, I wish Cornette was here. He can't get across the border, but did he give any instructions to the referee about let this go because if we somehow try to do something to Steen, legally he's going to try to come back with us. 
Steve, when, when, when Jim Cornette talked to you about coming out here and making sure this was the match it needs to be, did he give you any specifics? And he shakes his head no. Okay. Fighting the cauliflowered ear of... As we follow the procession around... Jacobs, the zombie princess, twisting in agony, too. Steve, too tough for that. And the idea now of defiance when you talk about what Steen is trying to do, become the world champion, fulfill that dream that he's had for so many years, but at the same time, send that level of defiance towards Jim Cornette. How far will Steen go? How much will Steen tolerate? How much can he endure? A whole lot. Yeah. Talked to Richards earlier today briefly. Said he was fully prepared, fully prepared for what he's hearing from the crowd right now. Arguably probably expected that coming in here. Yep. Walking the arm over there. Tying up the legs. Look at that, he's questioning the fans. You know, we talked earlier about how Ring of Honor fans respect great wrestlers and respect great wrestling. No, just couldn't get that hold on there. But sometimes when they feel so vehemently, so passionately about that something, it, that all goes out the window yes. and they just want to see a winner and a loser. It certainly does, and, and I think that Look at this now. There we are, a move popularized by James Gibson, the trailer hitch. And Steen gets to the ropes to force the break. And look at how Richards maintains that trailer hitch, Nigel, well past the four count. Well, we talked about it before, didn't we, with Mike Mondo? Once you've got a hold on people, keep it on as long as you can. Do the damage. Yeah. You think, though, he's savoring these moments with Steen? I don't know. Um, it's been a long time coming. He's had to endure a lot of stuff. We talked about the car wreck, you know, the injuries and everything else. Everybody has a breaking point, Kevin. What is Davey Richards? Steen went low there on Richards. Sinclair didn't call a foul. And again, how much of that over the last couple of weeks, what Davies endured this perfect storm. How much has that affected his training and his preparation on the road here to Border Wars? But listen to these people. Inzaguri there for the champ, and Steen knocked down onto the floor. Oh, wait a second. Jacobs right down by him, oh! There goes Jacobs, the zombie princess wiped out, goes for one on Steen as well. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Both men down on the outside now. Taking it out of them. You okay, Steve? Okay. It's fine. To the action. Jimmy Jacobs. Pounding the mat almost. 
trying to bring himself and Steen back up. You saw there he had the opportunity to interfere. Wait a second, again? Oh! For the second time, Richard's body bent in half on that ring frame with a power bomb. Now Steen rolls him in. Does Steen feel he can become the champion? Cannonball! Cover two, no. Just two and Kevin Steen really on a roll. He's grabbing his leg there. I don't know if you saw that, Kevin Yeah, Steve. I see that. He was uh, grabbing that leg. Not sure if he's injured it. Again, when you're turning and moving that quickly. Wait a minute, watch it, watch it, watch it. Having trouble with that left leg. Look at that, he can barely put weight on it. Yeah, that leg is barking right now. He better hope that Davey what? Richards doesn't see that. See, this is the time where there is no reverse gear for Steed. He's got one speed and it's forward. And he's put himself in a precarious situation now. Right above us on the top rope. When you're up there, Kevin, your, your hands, your legs are taken. Sometimes headbutts are all you got. Or biting. Sinton bomb, but right across the knees. And you can feel it in the air, right, Kevin? You know, ring them on a title match are so important. So much riding on being the champion here. Oh. German suplex. Look at that. Steve on his feet, but Larry it out of his boots. Cover two. This is what professional wrestling is all about, Kevin. Two guys at the top of their game with an issue that people care about and the most prestigious belt in this sport today. That's why people are joining us here at Forward. Listen. You can't beat him, is that right? Yeah, that's what they were saying. We'll find out here. Went for the knee strike. Swinging Lariat there from Steen, and Richards is down. The mouthpiece flew out off the super kick. Just too tired to be able to pin him, or does he have more left in the tank? You know, the conversation I had briefly with Richards, I wondered earlier today if he was going to try to exhaust Steen, and he said, yeah, that would be the game plan. I said, the ribs bothering you? He said, no, they're fine now, but again, it'd be nice if I could. I'd like to exhaust him. I'd like to expose him, but I don't think Steen can be exposed. Bit flying. only two but Kevin as you saw there it's the same sort of direction the same sort of damage as the package pile driver has to be weakening for that all right so Steen now Uh, 
Richards' mouthpiece. But that's just unhygienic. Here he goes. Did he get it. Package pile driver. Richards able to power his way out of it, though. And this is a battle of pride as much as anything. Some would say he's got no pride. Right to that knee, Nigel. That there was... you go. Cover two. He's got it. Will his knee hold up though, Kevin? Richards able to pull himself to the rope. And look at that straight afterwards, grabs the knee. He could be in trouble. This is his one opportunity. And if his knee's blown out, I don't like his chances. Yeah, Steen has to make this one count or that'll be it for him as far as future world title opportunities. And then you'd have to wonder what the future would be for Steen. He's only here for one reason. He's here to become the world champion. And you mentioned it at the great call there with the drop kick it to the knee. Even though Richards down hurt, trust me, in his head, he's catalogued that. He knows that knee is injured. And when he gets the opportunity, he's going to go for it. Well, that's a great point. We'll see if it continues to be a story. You have to believe that it will be. Richards leans in to drive a knee to the midsection and, oh, wait a minute now. There it is. Dragon screw leg whip on that knee across the second rope. Oh, look at the torque on it. My God. Oh. Oh, my. No. That ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament. All Steve can do is watch the double stomp. What did I tell you before, Kevin? He's reveling in this. He loves it. There is a sadistic streak. Wait a minute. Is this it? No. It, this is a sadistic streak that we didn't see in Davy Richards for a long time. Ankle lock on that injured left leg. This is what Richard said he would do. And a lot of people don't realize that the ankle lock, as well as applying pressure to the ankle, applies pressure to the knee. Wait a minute. Roll up. Two. Here we go. Package pile driver. Trying for the F-Sank, no. Watch out. Oh, oh my God! The DR driver, the DR driver scores two! My God, we haven't seen Davey Richards use that move in years! Look at Davey's face! With the pile driver legal, the door was open for Richards to use that. He cannot believe it, I can't believe it. Kevin Kelly, can you believe it? No! Steve Carino, can you believe it? He can't believe it. What's it gonna take? This is no ordinary match for Kevin Steen. It's his one chance in his home country. Everything on the line. And I think the words of the fans are now starting to resonate within Davey Richards. A look at this capacity. Standing room only, beyond sellout crowd, here at Border Wars at the Ted Reeve Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The Ring of Honor World Championship on the line. Davey Richards defending against wrestling's worst nightmare, Kevin Steen. The package pile driver legal, but this is Steen's one and only Ooh. chance to capture the gold. Kawada kicks now from the champion. Oh, look at that head. Oh, yeah. Sweat flying off of both men. Oh, my God. Two. 
my God, how close can you get? And now Kevin Steen up in the tempo. Oh! Oh, no. he couldn't follow through with the pin, but now he can, barely. That extra time. Nigel, that extra time may have cost him. Absolutely cost him. There's no doubt in my mind. But it's so difficult when you are so emotionally invested. Think of the time that it took for Kevin Steen to get this opportunity. Think of the hurdles, the obstacles. And he is here now with the one opportunity. You can forgive him for making the odd mistake here or there. Going to that moonsault off the top when arguably with that knee, that was the last thing he should have done. Well, now the ribcage injury, I think has reared its ugly head. The damage done by Steen and Jacobs. Oh, 260 pounds. There we are, second. And the package pile driver, Steen, does he have the strength at his knee to lift Richards up? Does Richards have the wherewithal to prevent it? Oh! The knee gave way. Boot right to the face. Listen, desperate to, no! And there is desperation, no doubt, in my mind on the face of Davy Richards. Does he feel perhaps that this, his title run is slipping away from him? Your time is good! A stunned silence almost in the crowd. Flipping him off. Turn around, fair play, but you bet that Davey knows a way out of it, just like that. Will Steen tap? Will Steen tap to the anchor lock? Richards has beaten so many with the anchor lock. He's got it cinched in tight. Surely not like this. Not in front of his home country. Nobody wants to see it here. End like this. Wait a second. Kevin, this place come unglued. Jimmy Jacobs screaming there. But no, he's too weak. Looks like that knee buckled a little bit. Back into the ankle lock. Holding on for all he's worth. Trying to use that. Clinging on so strongly to that turnbuckle. Oh, oh no, that turnbuckle was just exposed. And Richards. Sleeper suplex. This is it. History made here in Toronto, Canada.
one fall to a finish, and it is for the Ring of Honor World Championship. In this match, the first wrestler to secure the World Championship belt hanging above the ring will be the winner. Introducing first to my right, the challenger, wrestling out of Tijuana, Mexico, weighing 196 pounds, the generic luchador, El Generico! His opponent to my left, wrestling out of Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing 269 pounds, he is the Ring of Honor World Champion, Kevin Steen. It's one of the greatest rivalries ever in sports. It's the modern day Flair and Steamboat. It's the Celtics and the Lakers, the Yankees and the Red Sox. Notre Dame and USC. It's El Generico and Kevin Steen. Tail of the tape for this championship match. Forget the tail of the tape because the bell has sounded and Ladder War 4 is underway. Exchanging blows in the middle of the ring. Former tag team partners, former best friends, now bitter enemies. <laughs> Twisting Tornado DDT. Yakuza kick. Quickly, Steen rolling to the floor. For a ladder stationed around ringside. Whoa! Our first Tope Suicida! So many months away from Ring of Honor action has been El Generico. You have to wonder, has that time benefited him? He seems to have added some muscle. Seems to be bigger. I know that the time away benefited Kevin Steen greatly. He came back healthy, renewed, and went on to become the Ring of Honor World Champion. And the same could be said for El Generico. I think something that you can attribute to El Generico is the hatred factor, that the lovable character we knew of as El Generico is no more. This man is set to destroy Kevin Steen once and for all just in a, ladder war. Just a simple jab oh! from the ladder, but then a punctuation, sending the ladder right into the face of Kevin Steen. Steen fish hooking the eyes in the mask of El Generico, but Generico's now biting him. I've never seen El Generico this ruthless before. What kind of a dark place did El Generico go to in those eight months we have not seen well, him? Again, and that's, and that's the question. Balance that with how badly El Generico would love to be the new Ring of Honor World Champion. And hold, above that ring is a brand new Ring of Honor World Championship belt. You saw Steen bring the the older version down here to ringside and tossed it, toss it aside with disdain. Club from behind by Steen. Steen demanded that brand new Ring of Honor championship belt be made as part of his agreement with Ring of Honor along with well, the, the, uh, the package pile driver. The, the pile driver back being legal. ROH officials had no choice but to comply, so there it is, the brand new 30 pounds of gold suspended high above the ring. Generico trying to hoist Steen. Can he do it? Generico hits the ropes. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh my oh. goodness. The barbaric effects and nature of ladder war 
have been introduced as El Generico plummeted right through that metal ladder. And Kevin Steen loves it. Montreal wrestling historian Patrick Laprade here at Final Battle as well. Shook hands, said hello to him briefly earlier today. He said he wouldn't miss this chapter of Steen and Generico. There's no way he could. Kevin, three years ago, it started right here oh in New York City. Exactly. And it all ends here. This is final battle, Kevin. This is the final confrontation between Generico and Steen. Steen claims, oh, he is going to leave final battle. One of two things. That yes. He's either going to leave champion or as a corpse. See, and, and, and the thing that Steen is alluding to, comments that I made. Uh oh. Watch out. Watch out. Cannonball. Watch out. Comments that I have made about watching these two men, watching Steen and Generico destroy each other. And how much it bothered me as a father of two sons to see these two young men oh. have such personal hatred for each other that they would be willing to destroy their own bodies to put away the other. No pinfalls, no submissions. The referee can't stop this. The man, Nigel McGuinness, handpicked to dethrone Kevin Steen's reign of tyranny. Ring of Honor's Crimson Knight rises. Well, I just, you know, think about this. I think if it wasn't Nigel McGuinness as the matchmaker, if it was still Jim Cornette, I don't think Generico would get this opportunity. I agree. I don't think, oh, jeez. I don't think Cornette ever saw in Generico what Nigel McGuinness does. And that's, again, it's different flavors of ice cream. Everybody has their own preference. I don't think Cornette saw Generico as the answer. He gave him the opportunity in Florida. Oh. And I don't think he was going to do it here. But with Nigel McGuinness now as the matchmaker, that opens the door for Generico. That opens the door for Ladder War. You can't pin Steen. You can't make him submit. Maybe you can outclimb him. Well, you could give Generico the speed advantage over Steen, but oh, if this keeps going, I, I think El Generico is going to be Generico, immobilized. Generico's been on his feet for a scant few seconds since crushing that ladder in half. With his own body. Yeah, with his own body, the this twisted frame. This hen's when he's more broken than the fucking ladders, you hear me? Well, you heard it right there. Nigel McGuinness. Oh my. Selected Kevin Steen's kryptonite as the man to take the title away from Steen, but Steen is in full control of El Generico right now. As the fans here at the Hammerstein Ballroom try to rally behind the generic luchador. Well, Generico is certainly the most resilient athlete I've ever seen here in Ring of Honor. Oh my, oh my goodness. That barricade. The barricade could not withstand the hatred that Kevin Steen has for El Generico. This is a public maiming that we're seeing right here, Kevin. The faces of all of our ringside attendants, Bobby Cruz and Carrie Silken, 
tell a very grim story. Well, again, you know, Gary Silken is the founder pioneer ring of honor. You wouldn't, it wouldn't be final battle, and it wouldn't be a world title but match. Look at Wait Generico. A Generico opportunistic. Setting that ladder up. That's the reason why El Generico was selected by Nigel McGinnis, Kevin. El Generico has heart. He has passion. The passion to not only be Ring of Honor World Champion, but to defeat Kevin Steen. Oh, wait a minute now. Are you saying that Jay Lethal does it? Are you saying Davey Richards does it? Are you saying Eddie Edwards does it? Now, he's beaten all those men. He's gotten past all those men, I should say. Oh, and there goes Generico into the ladder. There's one standing difference between El Generico and the rest of those men, Kevin. El Generico has had blood spilled from his body, courtesy of that man. Now, well, that's a very good point. Not only his blood, but the blood that he considered a bond between well, the two. Right, that bond, and, and I, Generico's career has not been the same since that fateful night and final battle a few years ago. This is beyond personal at this point. This is a fight to the death. We may never see one of these men ever again see, at the end of the, this match. And here's the thing, you know, Steen is so in control of his atmosphere, you know, like he hears a, he hears something from the crowd and he automatically goes off into another direction. Yeah, it's psychotic brilliance. But at the same time, that sadistic thirst for violence to prove a point. Oh. Jamming that enormous ladder right into the skull of El Generico, who's now right down on top of us. He has no idea where he is, Kevin. Referee Todd Sinclair right there. Checking Generico. His entire face and skull exposed there. Oh, Generico tried to get back on his feet, but he just collapsed under his own weight. Oh, he's rubber-legged. And Kevin Steen is taking his time, setting up that ladder, and he's gonna claim his brand new piece of property. He demanded it, and now he's gonna climb and retrieve it. So now Kevin Steen, slowly crawling, climbing up. Trying to measure just how high you need to go to reach up to be able to wait a minute now. Generico's got a hold of Steen's leg. Generico pulling Steen. Is he going to be able to pull him down? Yes. He does. He gets it. I don't think Kevin Steen could quite comprehend how Generico is even standing. Never mind fighting. Wait a minute. Look at this. Suplex into the ladder. There's still life left in the generic luchador. Listen to the ballroom. The enormous welts on his back. Generico crawling slowly. Kicking off his arch nemesis, scaling that ladder, but just pulled right off by Steen. Generico once again. Oh no! How much can you possibly hate another human being to take that man and drive him neck first? into a steel ladder. And now Generico begins the climb. Step by step, Generico getting closer and closer to the world title. Kevin Steen looking up. How is Steen still mobile? Oh, no. Oh, my. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. Is everybody okay? 
Bobby Cruz has been in the line of fire all night. Can we take that one off of there? Kevin Kelly, this, this is doomsday, this is final battle, and you have to wonder, are any of us going to survive? Well, again, we have to be very mindful of our surroundings at all times, and at the same time, do what we can to, wait a minute now, Steen's starting to climb, but Generico's right there. They go back toe to toe again. Generico, wait a minute, where's Generico? Look at this. Oh, countered by Steen in midair. Steen knew exactly what was about to happen. He drives the knee right into that injured back of Generico. That he is same, out to cripple him. That same region of the back that suffered so greatly early on when Generico was driven on top of that ladder. And now with distance created, Kevin Steen is going to begin the long, arduous climb up once again. The light at the end of Kevin Steen's worst nightmare is approaching. One step closer than the last time. Generico, though, able to pull Steen back down. Steen once again throwing Generico to the outside. Well, Steen realizing that he wasn't going to be able to get up there with Generico pulling on him. Steen comes back down the ladder from his own accord to send Generico back out again to climb again. And once again, Steen sees Generico. Steen's coming on out. Wait a minute now. Steen realizing. Oh, uh -oh, no, not again. Oh! Once again, right through that guardrail. <laughs> Kevin Steen demanding, practically begging El Generico to just stay down. Kevin Steen is not opposed to not just maiming a person, but if he has to, he'll kill a man to keep well, that Ring of Honor title. Now what Steen has. Oh no. We saw this with Eddie Kingston in Providence with a table, but this time it's a steel ladder. Not done softening him up yet. Kevin Steen decides to go with another. Every time torture. Steen thinks he's got Generico weakened, he stops himself, but he says, no, not yet. What is going through the mind of Kevin Steen, and what does he have in store for El Generico? The look on the face of Kevin Steen and his eyes are just frightening. What could possibly be under this ring that has enamored Kevin Steen? A table. Pulled out now the table. Oh no. Watch your head, Caleb. He's gonna come right over the top of us. Perhaps carrying the table as a symbol of El Generico's final stand. Generico crawling, starting to head toward that ladder. After being thrown violently into the barricade on a number of occasions. Oh, no. You can hear the steering in the crowd, the buzz. And now Generico realizes what Kevin Steen has in store for him. Oh, Steen, please have mercy, come on. Mercy is not a word in the vocabulary. Of Kevin Steen, here no. we go. No. Generico escapes. 
Oh my goodness! Oh! Kevin Steen falls on his own sword. Hey, hey. Generico asking for help. He's sending our members of our ring crew. What is this bullshit? What did he just tell them? I must understand perfect Spanish. Oh my God. Look at the size of that ladder, fans. Steen down, crawling. Generico, if he's able to set this ladder up, I mean, he would be able to finally reach that world title. El Generico utilizing what could be the nuclear missile of doomsday. The great equalizer, the enormous ladder. that almost touches the very tip of that brand new title belt. Oh, wait a minute now. Watch Steen right above us. Watch Steen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Top rope brain buster. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh! My God, El Generico has just been driven through a table. that El Generico will be able to continue. Kevin Steen has used that very maneuver to secure his Ring of Honor world title on numerous occasions in 2012. And on the final battle of 2012, will that seal El Generico's fate? And will Kevin Steen walk out of Doomsday with his championship. So Kevin Steen now going to the top of this enormous ladder. He needs to climb higher, but will he be able to reach back and get the belt? Generico is back in the ring. How does Generico? Unbelievable. Generico is back on his feet after being sent through a table. My God, how does he do it? Generico using the ladder as a battering ram. Steen is down. What in the world is this? Oh. Screams of agony. Oh, you feel every ounce of pain that's coursing through the body of El Generico right now. For someone who wears a mask, his emotions are plainly obvious. On the skin-piercing cold December's night, El Generico is being put through the meat grinder. All right, now, wait a minute. Oh, no. No! Oh, my God!
The metal ladder did not give an inch. That is flesh and blood being driven through well, a metal ladder. Steen is back up again, but it looks as if he's too far to one side to be able to get that title belt down. He's got to move that ladder, Kevin. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Package Whoa. pile driver, no. Countered by Generico. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Package pile driver on Steen. Revenge, Kevin Kelly. Revenge drives El Generico up this ladder, up this mountain. Will El Generico be the savior of Ring of Honor? Slowly he climbs, but Steen is there to cut him off. I don't know if it translates through video, Kevin, but you got to see the welts on El Generico's oh. back in lacerations to really feel the effect, but there it is right there. That is what we are witnessing, and that is what we are experiencing firsthand here at the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City, ladies and gentlemen. Well, now Kevin Steen got that ladder from the outside. Now what? Oh, another layer of brutality now. I only shudder to think what this is, Kevin. Well, he's trying to join the halves together. Is he gonna need the, is he gonna need the? He still has to get the title down. I don't even think he's. I don't even think he's worrying about the title anymore, Kevin. I, I don't I, think this is a Ring of Honor title match anymore. I think that's a fair point, but again, the title does hang in the balance, and somebody's got to get it sooner or later. Look at how close Steen is, but he realizes now that he can't do it. Steen. And if he goes, see now he's trying to walk that ladder back, but it's braced by the other ladders. Generico climbing on the opposite side. And now these two men. I hate you. Oh my God. No. Steen biting the fingers of Generico. Ten feet in oh the air. Oh my God, it's so dangerous. Oh. Blatant blow blow. Just like three years ago, what started this whole thing. No. Oh no. No. Oh my God. Oh! Kevin Steen. Steen now going to the top. Steen inches away. Steen's got it in his hand. Kevin Steen. Generico motionless. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin, Kevin Steen. Kevin Steen has done it. Kevin Steen has retained the Ring of Honor world title. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Ladder War 4 and still, Ring of Honor World Champion, Kevin Steen! There's a reason why, after every ladder word passed, they say, never again. They will say it after Ladder War 4. Take a look at some of the collisions, the high impact violence that was delivered.
like Kevin Steen and El Generico. But there you can see the resilience, the fight put up by El Generico. What a warrior. Fought to the bitter end. Watch Steen go through the ladder. Both men fought guts and heart. Everything that they wanted to do here was a turnaround by Steen. Watch this. Generico, no, that was yeah. The, that was the earlier one. There was one where he turned it into a backbreaker. Yakuza kick scored by Generico. You got his early on. You got to hand it to Generico here. He fought Kevin Steen to the very end, Kevin. He fought Steen's match. Generico almost yep. won, but at the end, this was the difference maker. This torturous structure of sadism. The package pile driver leading Steen to claim the title. Introducing first, Masuda Kiyotogo, Kyoto, Japan, weighing 229 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. The IWGP Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion. He's quite an enigma and a great story. Shinsuke Nakamura. Size edge for Steen in this one, but uh, experience might tell a story here. Steve, what do you think? Well, both men, and it is so loud in here, both men started their career with great expectations. Shinsuke Nakamura trained by Antonio Inoki. Kevin Steen broke in by Jacques Rougeau. These guys taught these two young men a lot. Both men were million dollar rookies. Steen in Quebec, at Nakamura in Japan. He was Nakamura in his rookie year. They haven't even done anything yet. I, I, I want everybody <laughs> to hear this. This one's going to be fun, Kevin. Oh! Kevin ain't gonna let anyone intimidate him. Oh! We're just gonna let the fans call it for right now. Yeah. They're doing a great job. The kick is strong style against Mr. Wrestling. What's wrong with you? Calm down. You're having a seizure. Breathe. Breathe, you guys. This is not. Let's go. Look at Kevin C. 
Christine went into like a mentor role, telling Shinsuke Nakamura to breathe. The mastermind, Kevin Steen. There's those knees. And that knee's the moneymaker for Nakamura, for sure. Absolutely, it's brought him three IWGP heavyweight titles and three IWGP intercontinental titles. That title not on the line here in this matchup. Steen, Nakamura, one-on-one. -on -one. But imagine Kevin Steen being successful tonight against Nakamura here in New York. Right after a week ago, he lost in the middle of the ring to Adam Cole. And he's come out strong. Two. Now Nakamura, the leader of chaos. He's not afraid to be on the bad side. What a great drop kick by Kevin Steen. Now Nakamura likes to go at a slower pace in the beginning, kick-starting it near the end, where Kevin Steen is taking the fight right to Shinsuke Nakamura, maybe knocking him off his game a little bit. Reversed. Low bridge, not a DQ. Right. Well, we're under New Japan rules, I think. Oh, yeah. Is Steen gonna fly? Oh, oh no! A huge mistake for Kevin Steen! And an opportunity for Nakamura! And we talked about the psychological advantage that Kevin Steen has over most wrestlers. Nakamura is basically the same guy. Let's him play into his game. Wait, is that Jushin Liger in the, court, in the crowd? He's got to get prepared for Adam Cole. That's not Jushin oh. Liger. Knee to the back of the head. Now Nakamura, when he broke in late 2000, or August of 2002, and he was, he was basically dubbed the Million Dollar Rookie. He was a very MMA-influenced wrestler, winning, winning the IWGP Championship within his first year. And then, but he wasn't a money draw. That's something that a lot of people didn't realize. It was when they sent him on his excursion, when he went to Mexico and led Shinsuke Nakamura be Shinsuke Nakamura, when he not only became that great professional wrestler, oh, but no. that box office draw also. And now this plays right into Steen's hand. Oh. Power bomb on the apron. Both men down. Now, just like here in Ring of Honor in New Japan Pro Wrestling, it is a 20 count on the outside. Nothing new for both of these wrestlers. Referee Paul Turner, counting slow like a turtle. So I don't want to see it end as a double count. No, anyway. and, and again, a consistent count is what we want. So we're at 15 now. Both men slowly crawling. Steen might be able to get in. I don't know about Nakamura. He's got to get in before Niju. That's 20 in Japanese. Both men are in. While Steen can't capture the IWGP Intercontinental title with a win here in this, a win over Nakamura puts him in that conversation. It could, he, he would go right as the number one contender. And Nakamura, no stranger to the Intercontinental Champion. There's only been eight Intercontinental Champions. Nakamura has been number four, six, and eight. Winning that belt back recently from Tanahashi. 
Seen getting the better of the exchange. Tanahashi getting rubber legged. Oh, caught him. Nakamura now going to look to close the distance. Now, the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, seems to be a little enigma in the ring, if you will. Very serious when it comes to professional wrestling. I wanted to yell cannonball. Will Steen take a page out of Nakamura's playbook? And yes, he will. Oh. Cannonball! Cannonball! Two! No. Ah, oh, you stole my thunder. What? I wanted to yell cannonball. You ruined it. What an awesome match here. This is awesome. Right? See? Nigel McGuinness is going to join us for the second half oh, yay. of War of the Worlds. That'll be good. Ah, yeah, I'm going to bring tea. I like Nigel now. He likes you. Really? Eh. Kevin. Here it comes. Oh. That should do it. No. Driving those D's. Steen left unprotected. He's trying to set him up for his finish. Doesn't look like a choke. Now it does. Can he get Steen up? Yeah, that's the trick. Back to the sleeper. sleeper. Now he doesn't have it all the way over the carotid artery. Listen to this crowd. Both men down. It was one week ago at Global Wars. Kevin Steen came within an eyelash of becoming two-time Ring of Honor World Champion. Now he finds himself in a hell of a fight against Nakamura here at War of the Worlds. Package pile driver, no. Right to the back of the head almost. He's got him here. Gonna be setting him up. The famous run and knee. Oh, maybe not. Pop up, power bomb. He got no. What a match here. So Nakamura is on his on the way to defeat another attempt at the package pile driver, perhaps. 
Oh, he caught him. Both of these men giving it all they got here. Oh, he got him! He's just got to roll him over. One, two, no! People were asking me outside, Kevin Kelly, what match are you looking for the most? And this was definitely one of them. I wanted to give everybody a chance to hear this great crowd here in New York City. Chant this is awesome, because it really is. All right, here we go now. No, another oh. counter for Nakamura out of. Oh, we got him. Bobby! has defeated Kevin Steen here at War of the Worlds. What a great match. We'll go back to the replay. Many, those knees. How many could he, Kevin Steen, get, you know, take? He kicked out at one and then took another one. What a great match. This game, Nakamura and Kevin Steen.